Well, I think my view now is, is the same during the campaign, which is this was the most dispiriting campaign I can recall in my lifetime. Both sides were exaggerating. I think the government has to take responsibility for setting the tone for that. I do think that they said things which were not easy to sustain or support. It's true there was a great deal of uncertainty about the outcome in economic terms. That would have been enough perhaps to have made their case, but they went way beyond that in making claims about the precise numbers that could be used to uh, say how much our living standards might fall. We had all kinds of scare stories and I, I was travelling around the UK a lot at that time and I was struck by how many people said to me that they didn't like the scaremongering tactics. They didn't like to be told that if they were to vote to leave they would be idiots. And if you say to someone you're an idiot if you don't agree with me, you're don't, not likely to bring them in your direction. Do you think the Chancellor and the Prime Minister therefore need to take responsibility for the result? Because they t well, talk the Prime to Minister like idiots. The Prime Minister has taken responsibility for the result and has stood down. And I think the Treasurer is in a difficult position now because it did make very clear forecasts which I think were exaggerated in terms of at least the certainty they led people to believe could be attached to those forecasts. And now I think they're going to have to row back. We've already seen in the space of this morning that there will not be an emergency budget. And I think that was perhaps the nadir of the exaggeration. The idea that it made sense now, or even this year, to set a budget because of what may happen 5, 10, 15 years down the road makes no sense. And we will have to see what happens. Now, if it's the case that the Treasury forecasts are right and we are facing a recession, well, that will not be the time to have a budget to raise taxes and cut spending. The opposite. So I think I was, I was baffled by the idea that the emergency budget to raise taxes and cut spending would either be sensible in the short run or that we knew anything enough about the long run to make that judgment today.